Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and taking a look around this job site. So these are all culvert pipes, and you can see the first one, that one's 24 inches, the next one's 18, another one 18, and another one 24. This is all made, all made by Advanced Drainage Systems. You see that? What a great pipe. This pipe is used to go underneath of roads, underneath your driveway, to connect one side of a trench to another for an open ditch drainage, or you could close it off. So another great example, you can see this is a storm drain. This is gonna be the elevation of the parking lot when it's finished. It'll actually be graded to this, this spot. But notice, there's no fabric around here, no silt protection, they use gravel. This is in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the clay here is unbelievably thick. So a really good example of a French drain, even though this is not a French drain, this is a great example. Can you see the water trail? That water comes over and it's migrating through the gravel and it comes down and it gets in the storm drain. So you can see this is some type of a restaurant. I'm not sure what it will be, but you can see the drive through here and they're getting ready to you know, level this off and this will be where they'll pour the concrete for the drive for the drive through. And of course, this is all done with machines because it is a huge excavation site. You can see the storm drain, but notice what's around the storm drain. Gravel, not fabric, gravel. This keeps that debris, the gravel keeps the debris out of your system, but it allows water to pass through. And kind of dark down there, but there's huge 24 inch culvert, which I showed you earlier, that connects all these together. And of course, what that's doing is it's going over that hill into the swale to a retention pond. Okay, let's break this apart. Can you see the trench alongside of that drive through You see the water in the trench. Basically, if you give water a place to go, it will go there. That's how a French drain works. Give that water a place to go and it will discharge through that area. This is discharging to a storm drain. And you'll notice that there's no fabric here. Much better is gravel perforated pipe. This is just an example above ground that you can see. That water passes through that stone. No dirt goes into that storm drain. The wire fence is there just to hold the gravel back. From the storm drain, there's a 24 inch culvert pipe that connects the remaining storm drains together and discharges over that hill to a retention pond. Real simple systems. So here's a great example of what's called riprap. And you can see they're very large stones and they use this for a dry riverbed. You also see this along the side of the, of the highway where we're at right now, you can see. This is great stuff. It really helps the water uh, keep the erosion back on the hill, especially in the clay. It works really well. But take a look around the ground. Let's look over here. You can see they've got a retention pond because this entire parking lot, which is, will be a parking lot, this is all coming down this direction. So they need to slow that water down. And you can see this stone right here, this stone is number 57 at the quarry, number 57. And it's usually about you know one inch to inch and a half, maybe two inch stone. Water passes through this stuff really, really well. But what I really want you to take a look at is this. This fabric that you see that looks like a fence, this is a silt protection and it's designed to allow water to run through it and keep the silt out, just like a French drain. I'm sure you've seen this silt protection everywhere. You, you drive down the road in your neighborhood, wherever they're building, you can see this silt protection. Does it work? Well, take a look. You can see that gravel. Water passes through the gravel. The silt protection, yeah, some water comes through, but it gets packed solid. It gets packed solid with debris, clay, dirt. Take a look. You can see it. Let's look at the water trail of this thing. You'll, you'll see this water trail, and you can see what's happening here. 
Water's coming down this hill. You can see it cut a trench and the water's coming through. But notice the silt protection. That's designed to allow a lot of water through. But once that fabric gets packed with sand, clay, and debris, that water will not get there. And you can see it. There's a new, whole new path, and they had to add gravel for that water to pass through. Gravel works very good, and it protects your system. So is fabric a good idea? You know, we use fabric. We use it every day especially here in the sand. We do need something to keep those very fine particles out of the system. But I just wanted you to see that gravel by itself works extremely well. Systems last 15, 20, 30 years, but nothing lasts forever. You just saw the silt against that fabric. How long did that last? I mean, this construction site usually lasts, what, two months, three months? And you can see it's already totally packed. Gravel by itself works so good. It allows water to pass through freely. Does the stone eventually become packed with debris? Yes, it does. But it lasts so long, 15, 20, 30 years before you have a problem. So that's just some quick notes about fabric and gravel for your French drain system. Hope that helps. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.